praise in the park under the tent at St. Mark and Zion Church. Indiana. that they're having now, Father, here with them as they go forth, Heavenly Father. May they not become a victim of statistics, Lord, but victims of your grace and your mercy, Heavenly Father. Protect them, Lord. May they go about doing wonderful things in your name, Father, to uplift the community, to be in the households and families, Lord. Keep them, Heavenly Father. Lord, you, Father, are need of much prayer and much villages around him, Heavenly Father. So I lift all the youth, Heavenly Father, in this city, in this community, and across the world and within the sound of my voice, Lord. Keep them in your powerful and grace, Lord. And out of the out of the harm and the path of danger. Howard, Father, we know that you've given us the choice of free will and there are those out there that seek to continue to do the devil's work for us. So Father, for those that end up being called home by you, Father, Father, I pray that their lives will not be in vain, that, that your voice and your word will be known and that anything that may happen, Heavenly Father, that you're used to glorify you and to encourage and uplift other people to use it as a testament to you and your grace. Father, to comfort, to heal, and to help change hearts and transform lives. Use everything within your purpose. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Future generation of the mark. This is Minister Lydia. And this is the church that I was born into. Christened at. To I served for years here as a youth. My foundation was set, the path was laid. And I give God the glory for having the opportunity to be here during this day, during this centennial season. Lord bless this church and the membership and all those that have returned and all those that will walk through the doors in the future. Heavenly Father, bless this place in your mighty name. Amen.